My name is Tristan Hughes, I'm the head teacher here at Eskol Heravik. I am David Salisbury and I'm one of the community governors at Eskol Heravik. Hi, I'm Tina Stolens and I'm one of the peer coordinators in Eskol Heravik. Stephanie Owen and I teach Year 5 and Year 6 pupils and uh, run lots of the after school clubs. Our pupils make good progress in all areas of physical education and school sports. This is as a result of us implementing a strong and full peer curriculum which builds from year to year, developing continu continuity and progression in all skills related to individual pair and group team activities. There's a high level of participation in PE lessons which just reinforce our belief that the pupils in Hiradhik are well motivated and the numbers in after school clubs reflect this also. Pupils gain a wealth of experience across a range of activities with that which activates their interest and potentially forges sustainable links with local clubs. Three of my children all attended a scholar Adig and they've moved on to high school now and they're still actively involved in sport, playing football. Uh, and my eldest son is a football referee and all those foundations that uh, were begun at Uskal Heradig have continued. Um, a lot of thought and care is put into considering who and um, which other agencies um, come into school that support our own supportive and enthusiastic staff. Um, and these then provide opportunities for our pupils to extend and develop their skills and uh, enjoyment of participating. So we have people like Rail Football Club, Rail and Prostatic Gymnastics Club, uh, Prostatic Tennis Club, um, on top of that as well, in Ravik, pupils get the opportunity in class to share their experiences of participating in outside clubs. Um, and this event allows regular uh, information to be passed on to other pupils regarding days, times, how much it costs, where it might take place and, and any other information really. Um, so that promotes the activities that are available in the wider community. So things like Prostatic Cricket Club and uh, as I mentioned the Brillant Prostatic Cr uh, Gymnastics Club. Uh, and the Prostatin Leisure Centre and the Climbing Club, they all get a lot of promotion from our, uh, our activities within school. Um, as a staff in Hiradik, we do believe that even the smallest successes can relight a tiny glimpse of self-belief. Um, Hi, my name's Matthew. Hi, my name's Joshua. Hi, my name is Liam. Hi, my name is Arthur. Hi, my name is Zachary. Hi, my name is Jacob. Uh, Hi, my name is Maddie. Hi, my name's Abby. Hi, my name's Megan. And my name's Kerry. And we used to go to a school in Abby. We attended the following school clubs. Rounders and indoor athletics. Football and outdoor athletics. And cricket. Cross country, rugby and tennis. We represented the school in cross country and won all four sections. We played netball and came third out of the whole county. I was a young sports ambassador and we met regularly with the sports council. I was part of the sports council and we arranged a healthy stall at the Christmas fair. There was also a small bike. I went on to play in the county finals of my cricket skills. Out of school, I played for county football membership. We also had swimming sessions in school. We also were playground leaders, having trained with Holly and arranged games for the younger children, encouraging them to be active at their playtime. We played lots of in-house matches. We arranged the teams and helped teachers in sports day. Sports in Uskol Harabic has made us want to do more in our new school, Uskol Gankoid. <laughs>
and I think that will help with the literacy and especially the numeracy opportunities. What, what we've uh, seen at local sporting events is that they have a lot, we've got a strong togetherness in the school and the children have a lot of pride in representing the school so they will cheer everybody on and we've created a real team ethos here which is celebrated in our sports awards evening at the end of term. And what I like about the sports award that Mr Battery arranged is that it includes all children. If you've actually gone to practice or taken part in sport, it's not all about being the best and winning, it's about being your best and the fact that you've committed to the sport. So it's lovely that every child who's gone for practice, rather than whether they've made the team or not, regardless, they're recognised. And it was a really lovely evening that encouraged like children to get involved in sports that they haven't before. This year we've had a really successful year. We've won local tag rugby, boys football competitions. We also won a tennis competition. Uh, we finished runners-up in athletics and cricket. We also took part in a local running club event uh, hosted by Prestatin Running Club where we won the best school prize. Uh, where we had over 45 children taking part. Uh, it was the largest turnout of any school and the feedback we've had from the parents was that it was a real pleasure to see so many modern on children taking part in the event. Yeah, so we hosted the Rugby World Cup event in school. Uh, it took place at lunchtime and lots of children, up to, up to 80 children, took part and they all experienced playing rugby for the first time. Uh, this contributed to us winning the school's competition and it was a pleasure to see every child get a medal and they all really enjoyed it and some children had never tried it before were really nervous and by the end they've started going to local rugby clubs now so it was a success. Uh, Isabel very kindly volunteered me for Race for Life and I haven't run in a year that I haven't got a 19 in front of it so it's been quite a while um, but it, what it was lovely is that we, we practiced as a school, as a team with the mums and sheer embarrassment was the only thing that kept me running around that field because I, I was absolutely exhausted. But what has been good is that three of us have continued to run the mums. We meet on a Tuesday and a Thursday morning after a school run and we've done race for the second time. My name's Megan and I'm from Year 4. My name's Tegan and I'm from Year 6. My name's Isabella and I'm from Year 6 and we're in Bondland Community School. Hi, I'm Reese. Hi, I'm Jack and we're from Broadnight Community School for starting Year 6. The school encourages us to have fun trying new sports, to keep fit and have fun and to learn new skills. Last year I represented the school in football, tennis, cricket, F1 in schools, cross country, athletics. Our school takes part in many competitions in different schools, making new friends along the way. Win or lose, our teachers are proud of us. Well, we do sports awards every year, and um, I'd like to thank Mr Batterby for putting all of his time and effort into the sports awards. Uh, I'd like to thank the parents as well for all the taxiing around the events and getting stuck in and often volunteering as well to help, so a big thank you to them. Hi, I'm Kerry Evans and I'm Head of PE here at Prestatin High School. Hi, my name's John Ellis, I'm a PE teacher at Prestatin High School and also Associate Senior Leader. Hi, I'm Erin Fearn and I'm a Gold Young Ambassador at Prestatin High School. So the 560 programme at Prestatin High School continues to go from strength to strength, building on our previous figures every year. This year we reached an all-time high, topping out at over 40,000 560 attendances. The YA programme has been embedded into the 5 times 60 programme. We run weekly clubs, mostly run by YAs. It was an honour this year for Prestatin High School to be nominated as a Get Set Champion School. We were one of only five schools in the whole of North Wales to be selected for this. What this saw us do was work with other local and regional schools in Conway, Denbyshire and in Flintshire to train and upskill other schools and in particular other young leaders to help lead community action projects. Uh, this year we were thrilled to hear that our AYP officer Jamie Turley was awarded the Sky Sports Living for Sport Wales Teacher of the Year and that followed on from the previous year where our very own John Ellis held the same award for the previous calendar year. So a key part of our success in previous years has been our work with the Sky Sports Living for Sport programme. This year we've run two key projects, one of which has been celebrating the Rio 2016 Olympic and Paralympic Games. Following on from that, our second and ambitious project this year 
was a road to Rio challenge. We were based at part of the Prostatin Nova Leisure Facility and we thank them for their support. They helped the community members, local clubs, groups come together to walk, run, ride, swim, whatever they could do to add distance. It was over 5,766 miles and we were amazed to complete it well under the 24 hours, in fact in nine and a half hours. A fantastic achievement for all. The YA programme, which involves the Gold, Silver and Bronze Plus ambassadors from Prostatin High, has created strong links with the School Sports Council and also the Bronze YA from the Feed Apprentice Council. The PE department has also been working closely with our partners, uh, Gwyr and Denbyshire County Council, on developing the new physical literacy programme. It's been on the school development plan for a number of years, and this year members of the PE department are pursuing leadership programmes with a physical literacy strand running through them. It's been great to have a number of role models uh, and athletes can inspire our young people at Staten High School. I suppose the highlight was Beth Tweddle joining us for the Get Set for Community Action Day as a national case study. But we've also worked with John Farmworth, football freestyle champion, Vernon Samuels, an ex-Olympic athlete. As a PE department, we've always been keen to drive innovation and celebrate new ideas. This year, we were fortunate to have run the pilot scheme for the new Welsh FA Play More Football module, which, corresponding with Wales' fantastic success at the Euros, meant that new people have been introduced to the sport of football, not just in Prestatyn High School, but across the region and Wales itself. Personally, I've been involved in the Play More Netball programme, which encourages more girls to participate in sport and creates links to girls participating in clubs and county level. 